scratching my god dang truck. What is going on fellow K car, K van, K truck owners? Today I was going to do a little video showing, it's not really a secret, but it's uh, not typically something you would find in a uh, car from America. So I was just going to show this little, not really a secret, but this thing that we typically don't have, and I keep repeating myself, uh, this little thing in the, the K cars, or any K car that comes from Japan, because I think it's more um, prevalent in their vehicles. But if you just recently picked up a K car or K truck or a K van, congratulations. Um, you won't regret it unless you got yourself a jalopy, then you just have yourself a, a fun project for the rest of your life, which, hey, keeps you out of trouble, I suppose. Okay, so in your K truck or your K van or your K car, I'm guessing, these are all in the sandbars in the same location. On your passenger side, underneath your glove box, there is usually a little, uh, looks like a little black, a uh, little black hand, like a uh, some kind of um, grasp. Brain is not functioning. I'm not used, I'm not used to the winter time already. I was enjoying the sun. My brain is cold. So there's a little black uh, grasp hand handle chingus underneath your uh, da uh, glove box or your speaker on your sandbar and basically what that is used for is holding one of these guys uh, this is like an electronic flare um, good thing we're not in trouble there we go so what you will find um, down there in that little black handle is a it's an electric uh like a flare or a light for emergencies so i have not had any sandbars that had the light still in it or a flare because i think they actually have um legitimate flares that fit in that pocket um but these are the leds which are a lot less uh smoky and more than a one-time use um i have not gotten lucky and they were still down there so these are available to buy. Um, I actually uh, sell these guys in my OK Garage uh, parts store. So if you'd like to fill that little void down there with something that is JDM um, style and will give you that JDM look, uh, <laughs> I have these little lights. Uh, they're very cheap. Um, as you can tell, this one's... I think I realized this one wasn't working very well and I stuck it in the van because obviously I don't want to sell this one. But what's cool about it is if you are legitimately in trouble and your van or your car um, breaks down, they're magnetic. So you can stick it to the outside of the car. They're very bright. It's, it's certainly not picking up the brightness of it um, in the van. Uh, also, a flashing warning, I guess. Don't be having no seizures. Uh, yeah, so these are uh, magnetic and they'll stick, you know, on the outside of the car or whatever if you're in trouble. But I thought I would just kind of point that out because uh, I've seen some uh, some questions as to what that little black uh, handle looking thing is down there. And, you know, why is it empty, empty and what's supposed to be uh, in that pocket? Well, this is it. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to point that out in case you're a new K owner and uh, you're still learning. Uh, obviously, you know, I'm I'm still learning as we go. Uh, finding new little um, tricks and hidden little fun things in the cars and the vans and the trucks. Um, I mean, I'm no expert, but we all got to start somewhere, right? So let's start with a, a safety light. <laughs> and, and it just is kind of cool because this is how they are in uh, Japan. So, yeah. Uh, I'll put a link in the description if you want to pick one of these up. They're pretty fairly inexpensive um, and they're kind of cool. And it just, again, it just sits down in that little black, that little black thing down there that holds it. And uh, yeah, that's what it's used for. So I know this was a short kind of a pointless video, but I just thought I would share that little tidbit of information if 
you're new to the scene and you're not quite entirely sure and you're kind of embarrassed to ask questions which i get it i mean i'm afraid to ask certain questions too but you know sometimes a dumb question is uh, a question that everybody else is wondering i mean these are not american vehicles so um these are definitely foreign and you know some people know a lot about them and sometimes they want to share their knowledge and it gives them an opportunity to uh flap their flap their gums just like i'm doing right now making this video longer than it probably should be uh i thought i would just point this out since we're already in the the van um if you have a sandbar and you're wondering what this pocket is up above your uh vents <sighs> uh subaru at one time uh actually made a cup holder uh that goes into that pocket holds two cups so if you have a truck you'll you'll notice uh right behind your e-brake there's a little square pocket that's probably where you keep your drinks right now at least that's what i do um but if you can find one of these uh, it does take a little slight uh, modifying, not really, I wouldn't say modifying, it just takes a little bit of work because there are uh, clips that uh, go into the dash, so you'll have to cut slits, uh, put little like rectangular slits in the dash for it to sit in, and then the clips obviously grab on so it doesn't fall out. Um, I was extremely lucky enough to uh, get this van with the uh cup holder but uh subaru is not making this part anymore it's discontinued so you will have to try to find one um i recommend using uh 500 yen shop.com and then uh yahoo auctions and just search like sandbar cup holder uh this will this will come up and depending on what time of the month it is or the time of the week uh they could be uh extremely expensive or fairly cheap i mean i've seen them go from 30 dollars to over a hundred dollars obviously uh, on the condition that it's in this one is in perfect working condition and i think it was totally worth buying the van just for this cup holder because <laughs> they're they're not that easy to acquire uh i mean they are easy they just you know you, you got to do your your bidding and pay attention to all that. So yeah, that that's kind of a cool little thing in the sandbars if you get these cup holders. Another fun thing in the van or truck in a sandbar only, if you uh, open your uh, glove box, um, I don't know if you've noticed this, if you looked inside there, there's actually a pocket up on top. So you have your, your very uh, useless space almost, it's like three inch little ledge, um, but, if you reach up above, there's actually a long pocket that I think uh, that would would be where the service uh, records or service manuals would be stuffed in there. Um, so if you haven't looked up inside that pocket, if you've just got a sandbar, um, I would recommend poking around uh, in there and seeing if you find any fun things hidden. I actually found a receipt um, in there for, I think, uh, I believe the timing belt and um, the water pump and all that stuff was done before it came over here. And I think the receipt was jammed up in there um, because when I did my little inspection, all that stuff was brand new. So I think I got I think I got a pretty good um, pretty good find with this one that a guy Larry imported and didn't want it. So that's kind of fun that little pocket up there. See if you got anything hidden up there, or if you got or if you got lucky and yours came with the service records um it's a cool little spot to hide it but i mean if i were you i'd put that thing into a safe uh because certainly don't want anybody stealing that because that's kind of priceless getting the history on the van that you just or car or truck that you just got imported um also i thought i would point this out too so there have been quite a few uh people asking about double dins in the sandbars because uh, you will notice that the uh spot pocket is pretty big with the factory radio um i went ahead and uh there's a guy on um in our facebook uh, facebook group um printed this uh trim ring for the double din i mean i think you can find the trim rings for the double dins 
in Japan. And I'll tell you what, I saw some wood grain um, double din trim, pretty trick looking. Uh, I think it was going for 22,000 yen, which is quite pricey for a piece of wood plastic that sits in here. Maybe it's real wood, I don't know. But I had this great idea that, hey, if I print stickers and wrap stuff, you know, I'll probably take this trim ring and wrap it with a wood grain and make it look like a wood grain. Because they do have wood grain trim kits for the sandbars used, of course, because it's not produced anymore. But if you're looking to go with a double din uh, radio, I bought this one off of eBay. Came from China for like 25 bucks and people are reselling them for like 75 bucks. So if you want to wait a couple weeks, uh, totally worth getting the $25 double din touch screen uh, radio. It doesn't have a CD player. So the thing's about three inches deep, which is fine because then it just makes it a little bit easier for slipping it into this pocket because there's not a whole lot of room. Using the factory uh, mounting side plates for the radio went right into here on the double din and then it bolts right into the pocket down in there so you can get yourself a, a nice double din uh, touch screen. It is kind of, uh, if you're sitting back in your seat, the angle is a little bit wonky but at the same time, you're really not supposed to be paying attention to it while you're driving anyways, but it does make it a little a little bit difficult. So if you can get one where the screen uh, actually comes out of the box and then can rotate, that would probably make it a little bit easier um, for using a, a radio with a touch screen. But other than that, I'm super happy with it. Uh, works great. This came from Japan with the deck in it already with no wiring harness. So the guy had hardwired into all the wires past the harness. So nothing's plugged into the harness. That's just plugged straight into the wires, which I mean, all I had to do was cut everything and then re-splice it in, which that's fine, whatever. It saved me 15 bucks from buying a wiring harness. But yeah, so you could get this trim ring and then it will uh, basically just fit on the outside and looks like it's supposed to be there. So it looks really trick. Um, yeah, so radio, radio, that was a super easy install. Here comes the sun. Da -na -na -na. Here comes the sun. Okay, so if you have a van, this is a feature in the vans, um, your back windows roll down, which is pretty slick in the vans. So you can get some real air flowage. Wow, this one's pretty stuck because I have not been using it. I'm probably gonna break the goddamn handle um if you have a van you will notice uh that the window only goes down you know a little more than halfway but wait there's more <laughs> there's literally more window to roll down um let's see if you can see this fat legs out of the way so you'll see this little knob down here and it kind of looks like just there for decoration or whatever um, that knob actually uh, is, uh, I believe it's like a child safety um, lock. So if you roll, roll up the window a little bit, if it's all the way locked down, if you turn the knob towards the front of the vehicle and roll down your window, look at that. That's Japanese ingenuity right there. So... Basically, you get a full, you get full window roll. So that's kind of a cool little trick. Um, if you're poking around in your new van and you're not entirely sure what the heck is going on. But uh, I would be extremely careful. Oh, I'm probably gonna break this knob right now as I speak. Uh, just be careful with your, uh... holy cow. Just be careful with your uh, windows. Oh, something fell down in there. <laughs> you can tell I have not been sitting back here. Uh, kind of help the window up because these uh, these window knobs get very old and brittle and they will break very easily. So I'm just kind of helping the, the window go up. Your grandma your abuela or your babushka sitting back here. Although I don't really recommend people sitting in the back of these things because they don't have seat belts. 
but yeah cool thanks for uh watching guys um i'll have some stuff links below if you if you're feeling like you need some if you need to treat yourself um but yeah if you just picked up a van or something and you found this uh congratulations uh you made the best decision you could possibly make um and happy 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 sandbar and cool take it easy guys